Alright, just come outside. Um, was getting ready for a s storm coming uh, yesterday. Woke up, nothing. I mean, nothing. Um, going by what they've predicted, we've looked at a couple of places that's supposed to be reliable. And, uh, I think the only estimation on when it's supposed to start was about 10. I don't know what time it is now. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's before 10. But, uh, it's supposed to start at 10. We're going to get anywhere between 2 inches and 2 foot. Um, but he ain't happy. He wants out. Um, it will hit us extremely hard or it will completely miss us um and if it does hit us <clears throat> it's only gonna last a couple hours or two days so yeah they don't know what they're talking about all right danny go up there and let those critters out I'm here for emotional help. I got my coffee. Emotional support for morning chores. Here they come. Oh, buddy dog. Well, I'm glad y'all ain't in a hurry. <clears throat> well, left the gate open on the milk room. Well, hello there, Clover. You went spazzy. Crazy goat. Lily, you want to do a little bit of hopping around? Oh. Oh. oh, you coming? Are you coming? <clears throat> well, that was almost a bounce. Wasn't it? Go check out your rocks. There's Buddy. He's coming. This little miss took it herself out. And look at that. She's still dreaming of food. <laughs> oh, my pretty girl. When it's cold outside, this is what I love, the snuggles. It's been snowing for about an hour now, and as you can, oh well, I don't know if you can see behind me. Let me show you. The girl is there are not impressed. We keep the pen uh, gate open any time that we let them out, so if they want to head on up, they can. But I think they're wanting to head up to get out of this snow. <laughs> oh, babies, you just don't like the snow, do you? Where's Clover? Where's that crazy Clover, bud? But yeah, just in this past hour, we've got um, a dusting over pretty much everything. And it's just coming down fine at the minute. What oh, baby? Hey, my daisy. Where's Clover, bud? Hey, Lily. What you do? Is it Clover? I saw you. You were over at them chickens again, weren't you? But to say we've only got a dust in so far doesn't really mean anything because being in the mountains, the weather can change in no time. And if it carries on snowing for the rest of the day and most of tomorrow like they're predicting, we could end up with a fair bit. Now, 
The kids are a bit disappointed right now because they think this is pretty much all we're getting. Um, and if it was up to them, they'd probably want us to get about three or four foot. But from what I've heard and from what I've seen, we really shouldn't get any more than two foot. Actually, possibly a little less. So I think as long as there's enough for the kids to go sledding and have snowball fights, hopefully tomorrow, uh, I think they'll be happy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. One of the reasons we've decided to breed Lily and Susan to where they have their babies in April is because April is usually a time of month where it's starting to warm up and even though we'll be keeping a really close eye on them when it gets closer to them giving birth there's still the off chance that they could give birth and it'd be a little while before we get up there and see that the babies have been born. Hello Clover! <laughs> um, now we could have had had it to where we could have bred them to where they would have had earlier babies but we just really don't want any of the babies getting really cold because um, it can get awfully cold right I mean we've had snow. Clover <laughs> crazy goat we've had snow right up in, until beginning of April before um, but this way it'll be warm well it's more likely to be warmer um, but it's also cool enough girls <laughs> they're getting wild it's also cool enough to where they don't have to worry about it being 90 to 100 degrees and all the flies and the mosquitoes and stuff like that so here in West Virginia April's a pretty good time of year for them to be having their babies so we're really excited Clover's not Oh yeah, you're not having babies yet. You're too young. Uh, it's just Lily and Susan. Susan the black and white one and Lily the brown one with the horns. And uh, we're just really, really excited. But we've got plenty to get done before the babies arrive. We've still got to build a second birthing pen because we'll have them in separate pens. Um, and we need to put together our birthing basket which will just have a few things like puppy pads um, maybe a hairdryer, heat bulbs and things like that just again to keep them warm if the weather does drop down cold and we can help clean them off and all that good stuff and it's crazy to think that far ahead and of warmer weather when it's snowing but we've got to get prepared so we're looking forward to it first time bringing baby goats in the world into the world for our family and we've been doing a lot of research I know Clover I know you want the attention don't you <laughs> um, well, we've done a lot of research, we've had quite a lot of great tips and advice, especially from Danelle at Weedham and Reap. Um, so, hopefully we'll do a good job. And hopefully Lily and Susan, I'm sure they will, will have a pretty easy delivery. And I know they're going to be great mamas. And you will one day too, won't you? Oh, you need some loving Daisy. Yeah, they are a pretty girls. <laughs> we love our girlies. Susan's ready. <laughs> yeah, I think the snow's setting in for the night, so the kids will be happy. Yeah. Not so much the girls. The woman come out to see if I froze to death. And the girls were shouting at us, telling us they want to go to bed. I know, we hear you. It's cold, it's wet, it's white. <laughs> and you want to go and get snuggled up? I know, girl. Susan's beard's getting wet. <laughs>
Daisy's turning white. Dude, she looks like she's been out here in a while. I saw her out here with you. I think snow's picking up a bit. Look. Come on, old man. If you're good, I'll make you a snowball. Dog loves to eat snowballs. Come on. Oh, leave them without us. They picked a new road. No, they're taking a shortcut. Come on, buddy dog. I'm catching up. That might be a lie. But. Walking around in snow. With cowboy boots on. They ain't got no tread to them. It's a little bit difficult. Come on, buddy dog. I'm going this way. Alright, the woman's gonna take the camera. Well, I don't know if y'all remember, but in one of our older videos, not too long back, the guys fixed up and put extra reinforcements on the milking roof here. And I guess this is gonna be the first real test to see if it's gonna hold up if we get all this snow. Here he is. Come on, buddy boy. Come on, bedtime, buddy, 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 come on, good boy. Oh boy, Clover's worried she's going to lose something. Nah, Daisy. Daisy. Go on. I know, you like the dad, come on. That's it, girls. Yeah, mom and dad putting y'all to bed tonight. And buddy's seeing a bird. He's standing guard from a bird. Told you he's a good guard goat dog. <laughs> Even protecting him from birds. Yep, we're gonna go ahead, put the chickens up to bed and settle in for the night just like this snow is <laughs> um, and uh, yep we'll just see how much snow we end up with by tomorrow morning <laughs> so all right guys well don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time bye Later.